I cut too much of the damn lace. And then I kept cutting. Like, bitch, why are you steady cutting? Stop fucking cutting. <laughs> What's up you guys, it's your girl Talia and I'm back again with another video. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and also turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time that your girl posts a video. So today we're just gonna be doing a little quick wig install. Um, you guys have to bear with me throughout this video because this is really like my first time. I mean, I've watched a million videos on how to install a wig, but this is like my first time really actually sitting down and installing the wig and i think i did pretty good to say the least um the part is a little crooked but other than that i feel like i did pretty good um i made this wig like a long time ago i'll say about a year or two ago and it's still holding up pretty good um i won't say where i got the hair from because i used to sell hair and i'm trying to get back in the process of selling hair so i don't want to disclose my vendor but you guys will be able to purchase this hair from my website really soon um, but I'll say this hair came out really good. Um, the video, y'all, <laughs> the video is a hot mess. Like, I was really struggling to put this wig on, but we got it done. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into this video. So first, I'm going to start off by slicking my edges back. And I use the, I think it's called West Kiss or something like that, edge control. I got it from Target. And... I honestly have to say, I love this edge control. I got the extra hole. I'll definitely give this edge control like a, a 10 out of 10. Now it does have a white cast, but it's still very good. It reminds me of that um, that other edge control. I can't think of the name of it. What's the name of it? Shit, I don't know. I can't remember the name of it, but it's a very good edge control and I recommend that y'all get it. But I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and then I pushed my edges back y'all this is what i saw the girl doing on youtube i don't watch the million videos of how to install the wig so i'm trying my best so this is the wig cap that i got y'all don't judge me i know i got the wrong color wig cap but look here this is all walmart had they only had the dark um brown they didn't have like the tan so i had to work with what i had all in all it still came out okay but i think it would have looked a little better if i would have had like the light wig cap so next time i know to get the light tan wig cap then i just sprayed a little bit of my um my olive oil holding wig spray and then i just dried it with the blow dryer i don't even know if i'm doing this right but whatever <laughs> and the, the wig cap kept lifting so i had to keep putting more holding spray on it and I wear glasses so I wasn't able to put the wig cap like over my ears and cut it so I just had to do it this way all right y'all so I was struggling <laughs> with this part between my damn glasses and these damn weak ass scissors, I could not cut this wig cap properly. And to be honest, I'm left handed, so my cutting skills are like trash anyway. But this damn wig cap kept lifting. These damn scissors was dull as fuck. I should have had some smaller scissors, but I couldn't find my smaller scissors, so I just had to use the big ones. And I was trying to cut it to where I don't cut my fucking edges. So that's why I didn't cut it all the way back. Because I was scared I was going to cut my damn edges. And I, and I didn't know what I was doing on top of that. I was like, oh, hell no. I'm not about to damn cut my damn edges off and then be looking stupid. But it turned out okay. And then I just took a little makeup because the cap started lifting. So I just took a little makeup and... um. Put it on the edge of the cap so that way it could just blend right in and i also sprayed a little bit more spray on my head and then i went in and put it put on mm, damn i'm stuttering and then i went in and put on my wig now this wig is old y'all like old i mean like a year or two old i made this wig like a long time ago and 
it's still holding up pretty good. I know it looks kind of crazy right now, but once, well, watch the end of the video. Once I get to the end of the video, you'll see, you know, it all came together. But this wig is a hot ass mess right here. And then I also sprayed some um, lace tint on it. And then I let that dry. And then I just threw the wig on and and I got a big ass head so this wig really didn't fit in the back so it kept lifting so I had to keep pulling it down pulling it down pulling it down <laughs> I was getting fucking aggravated I'm like man fuck this shit but I finally got it after a thousand tries I finally got it together and like I said it's not perfect but we made it work. I'd be damned if I sit over here and pay $200 for somebody to install a wig when I can damn near do this shit my damn self. So I'm going to keep practicing. This is not the last of me doing this. So y'all going to see more videos like this because I'm going to get this shit down packed. Watch. Y'all going to be looking back at this video like, damn. Yeah, I'm going to get this shit down packed because I'm tired of paying. I'm tired. Especially when I could do this shit myself. I don't pay to get my makeup done because I do it myself. And I'm not going to be paying to get my hair done because I'm going to do that shit myself. And right here, I was definitely struggling because the razor was dull. Like, all my shit is dull. I need to get new stuff. But my razor was dull so it wouldn't cut the lace properly because the, the um, razor was so fucking dull. And I had a straight um, blade razor, but I couldn't fucking find it because my damn room is so junky like... The whole situation was a hot ass mess, y'all. And then when I was cutting the lace, the damn blade is so dull to the point where it almost stripped the damn lace. So I was like, oh my fucking God, I'm about to mess up the damn, the damn closure. So I had to go in with the scissors and fix it with the scissors. It was just a whole lot of cutting and ripping and pulling. <laughs> but yeah, let's keep going. Okay, so I honestly think I cut too much of the lace. So I had to go in with the tweezers and kind of like tweeze the hairline and get some of that hair off so it'll look natural because I cut too much of the damn lace. And then I kept cutting. Like, bitch, why are you steady cutting? Stop fucking cutting. <laughs> Y'all, this shit is crazy. But I kept cutting. I don't know what it was. I got. I guess I got scissor happy and I just kept cutting the lace. Like if you look on that left side, like that shit is almost fucking bald because I kept cutting the lace. So next time I know not to cut so much lace. So I couldn't find my elastic headband, so I had to make me one real quick. <laughs> I know that's ghetto, but like I told y'all, I had to make it do what it do because I did not have the proper tools for this. But anyway, I went and made me a little headband right quick, and then I just tied it down. And I was struggling with this part because my head is so big, like I said. So the homemade elastic band that I made wasn't big enough for my damn head so I had to keep stretching it and it kept popping off and I had to keep retying it like I said y'all this was a hot mess but I finally got it on and then I went in and did my part now y'all I fucked up this part like my part was so crooked like I did all of that and the damn part still came out crooked I'm like this is some bullshit like, y'all, I thought I really had this part. Like, I kept going over it, kept going over it, kept going over it, and the bitch still came out crooked. 
and I didn't realize it until I started watching the video because it didn't look crooked at the end. Like, it didn't look crooked in person, but on the damn video, it looked crooked as hell. But whatever. All right, so now you just see me um, putting my mousse to kind of lay my hair down. Y'all, this is what really saved this whole this whole week is this damn mousse and my damn um my damn hot comb like if you don't know what you're doing go get you some mousse and a hot comb and i promise you it'll look good in the end go get you a, some mousse and a hot comb and i promise you that wig install will look good because that's all i really use was that damn mousse and that damn hot comb. Like, if you notice, you'll see me steady putting mousse on it. Steady putting mousse on <laughs> So after I laid it down with some mousse, I, um, I pent my hair back so I could work on this damn part. And I can also lay this lace down because the edges kept lifting. Because remember I told y'all I cut too much of the lace. So the edges kept lifting up. So I had to put some more spray on it and then put that elastic headband back on it to lay it down. And then now I'm gonna start working on this part. So for this part, I'm gonna just go ahead and fast forward it because I'm basically just doing the same thing over and over and over again, which is just laying my hair down with a hot comb and using some mousse to kind of lay my hair down and brushing and combing it. So next, I'm about to do my baby hairs, and y'all know I don't know nothing about doing no damn baby hairs, but I tried. It took me a little minute, but I got it. I got it. <laughs> like I said, practice makes perfect, so I'm going to keep practicing at this thing until I get it.
so right here I just twisted my hair in the front because I just felt like it wasn't curly enough so I thought doing this would help but it actually didn't do shit but it was worth a try <laughs> Okay, so this is how the wig turned out. I say it turned out okay. Um, to say like, you know, this is really like my first time really focusing, sitting down, putting on a wig. It turned out pretty good. Um, I've had this wig for a while. I've been wearing it like on and off. Um, I made this wig like a long time ago. And I've just been wearing it like on and off. And I'm not going to disclose where I got the hair from though because I, um... I used to sell hair and I'm trying to get back in the process of selling hair so I'm not going to disclose where I got the hair from but you guys will be able to purchase this hair from my website real soon but just to say the least I feel like it came out pretty good after me watching a million videos on how to do it the part a little crooked but other than that I feel like I did pretty good, y'all. I feel like I did pretty good. And I'm supposed to be going to my family's house for like a little get together because my, my grandma, well, she passed away years ago, but my family, they always do like a little get together for her every year around her birthday. So I'm supposed to be going to my family's house for that. And I'm already late as usual. So let me just go ahead and wrap this video up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time that you're going to post a video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.